Hello, I'm Jacqueline Anaya. I'm an acupuncturist and herbalist, and I'm here today with the beautiful Taylor Wynn, who is the creator and owner of Tailored Acupuncture and Wellness in Jacksonville Beach, Florida. She is the two-time winner of Best Acupuncturist in the area this year and last. And also she um, is an expert at fertility, uh, birthing, wellness, and weight loss. And she right now is going through her first pregnancy. I wanted to ask her a bunch of questions about her experiences as a doula and an acupuncturist helping other women go through fertility and birthing and then also ask her about her own experiences. In infertility centers, in birthing centers, it's not unusual for them to also integrate with uh, Eastern medicine using acupuncture. Right. Um, and, and so it often helps fertility, it often supports fertility, and mm -hmm. it also helps support birthing yes. to the point where often birthing happens, uh, the duration of it is much usually shorter so that, mm -hmm. that they have a gentler experience going through it. So, and actually you just went through one recently where you were helping a client. It was a natural uh, vaginal birth at a hospital. Mm -hmm. And, um, which I do a lot of those, a okay. lot take place at the hospital. Mm -hmm. Um, I have done some home births uh -huh. and water births uh -huh. and birthing center births. So, um, they're all beautiful. They're all amazing. Mm -hmm. And, um, I love to be there to support these women going through that. And, um, you know, some are longer and more intense than others and, um, more challenging, mm -hmm. uh, but it's it's been a beautiful journey, oh, and wow. I feel like it's helped me prepare for my own birth, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm very very excited, and that should be happening any day now. <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. So yes, I treat a lot of different patients throughout their entire pregnancy. Um, and even before that, helping them get pregnant um, with fertility treatments and such. But um, one of my favorite things to do is when a mom is close to her due date and um, sometimes they'll be under a little bit of pressure for an induction. Mm -hmm. So whatever the case may be, uh, the doctors may be talking about induction and um a lot of moms would rather not do induction because uh, the drug Pitocin mm -hmm. is very intense and um, it can make a little stronger contractions and a little closer together and mm -hmm. um, not the natural progression mm -hmm. per se. Um, so anyway, so I had someone that uh, was looking at an induction um, on a Monday morning at 7 a.m. and she had contacted me to see if we could get things moving to avoid that. Mm -hmm. So I said, absolutely. Came in on a Saturday and just kind of did all that I could with acupuncture um, and some acupressure. We even did electro stimulation mm -hmm. on the needles. So right. I hooked it up um, to do a little stronger just to make sure we really get the signaling going. Mm -hmm. um, so we did that. And then I got a message from her the next morning with a picture of the baby. And um, she said that uh, a few hours after the, the session, she had went into labor and had the baby within 20 minutes of walking into the birthing room okay. at the hospital. So, um, so that was just great. And she avoided the induction mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, just really calmed her activated her parasympathetic nervous system so that endorphins mm -hmm. could start flowing mm -hmm. more freely throughout the body and um, all of the you know the things that naturally occur when we start labor could could happen for her and mm -hmm. and so it did and it was amazing mm -hmm. and I I love those sort of treatments and mm -hmm. um, and that happens quite often so